this introduction to the exponential function I want to talk a little bit about the background a function is where you have any input value and you have exactly one output value like if someone tells you what is the capital of United States the answer is Washington so it has only one answer so that's a function there are many types of function we have a linear function which looks like this the variable x has the highest power one so that's a linear function we have a quadratic function where the highest power of the variable is two that's a quadratic function we have of course an exponential function where the exponent itself is the variable x so 2 to the power x 3 to the power x 4 to the power x or any number to the power x that's an exponential function but we're not talking about an exponential function we're talking about the exponential function first of all there is no such thing as the linear function the quadratic function but there is such a thing as the exponential function when we talk about the exponential function we're talking about the number e the most famous number in the world e was first referenced by John Napier John Napier was a brilliant man and he published a book called the miraculous canon of logarithm the invention he invented logarithm with this book it's a book that took him 20 years to write and logarithm is actually the study of exponents that's all it is and he worked with 2.71 but it was 70 years later Jacob Bernoulli uh, from Switzerland he was Swiss he was working on compound interest and he came up to the very accurate approximation to this magic number how did he do that he was thinking about the ultimate investors dream suppose you put one dollar in the bank and the bank is going to give you hundred percent interest now in simple interest you'll get hundred percent interest once at the end of the year so if you get hundred percent of one dollar is one so you get a total of two dollars that's fantastic but in compound interest what is done this hundred percent is compounded it is not given to you altogether maybe if it is given twice a year so it would be fifty percent of the six months fifty percent of the six months if you break it down you're going to get two point two five dollars so why don't we compound it more why don't we break it monthly so hundred percent break it down into every month a little over ten percent so you get more than two point two five how about we break it down weekly break it down into fifty two pieces because in a year there are fifty two weeks you get even more if you break it down hundred percent daily compound over daily so there would be three hundred and sixty five portions interest then he th thought about how about we break that down per second in a year every moment you're going to get a percentage increment well some people might think oh my god that might turn out to be tens and thousands of dollars one dollar compounded tens and thousands of dollars that's a great bargain in reality no matter how much you break it down it would not be over a magic number 2.7 one eight two eight now this is the most famous number in the world but it was not until 1727 it was named and it was named by Leonard Euler perhaps the greatest mathematician of all time Leonard Euler was actually the student of Jacob's brother Johan Bernoulli and uh, he gave the letter the name E so many people might think he was very conceited he named it after himself because he name starts with E Euler starts with E E U L E R well you see this is not all he did he also named the number 3.142 which is the another famous magic number which says the circumference of the circle is more than three times the length of the diameter he named it pi not only that he named the complex number square root of minus one i now these three numbers are three of the greatest number of all time the other two great numbers are zero and one 
as if this was not enough so what he did then he put all these five numbers together in a formula which is called the greatest mathematical formula of all time e to the power i pi plus one equals to zero how does it do it that's magic if you want to remember the letter uh, the number denoted by this there is some trick to it one of the trick is by some sort of a special sentence the one that I like is you put to express E remember to memorize a sentence in embedded code what is the trick every word corresponds to the letter of E the letter of E is 2.7182818284 the first 11 digits so this one is 2 2 letters 7 letters 1828182284 pretty neat exponential function was also honored by Google in 2004 when they uh, came to the share market they released their IPO it was to honor this number 2 billion seven hundred and eighteen million two hundred and eighty one thousand eight hundred twenty eight we can say even Google went gaga over E